Welcome back YouTube. I want to show you a planner that I'm working on and I'm trying to get published before the end of this month of November. Um, it is a 2022 planner for the year. It's a yearly, uh, weekly planner, but it goes from January all the way through December. So I'm going to be showing you some of the issues that I had uploading it to KDP and what I'm going to have to do to fix it and correct it and to go ahead and get it published so people can start purchasing my planner. But if you like videos like this where I'm showing you how to do these certain tasks, or show you these certain skills of how to upload books into KDP and publish them, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for me, all right? So without further ado, let's get to it. This is probably gonna be one of the fastest videos I've ever done, and I'm gonna try to do this in under three minutes. So here we go. So as you can see, I've already split, I already cropped images uh, and put them on their separate pages. I even went back and added a, a inside margin, which I didn't have a margin at first, because I wanted KDP to just cut the book down the line. So. Um, I'm pretty much um, going through on the spreads and here I'm on this spread and this is where you guys can look at this video so uh, I'm on spread eight through nine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop this photo down the middle and I'm gonna split them on and put them on their separate page so here we go what your first thing you want to do is go ahead and select your your photo and which is your, your it covers your whole spread and that's how it's going to look once you download it off of whatever you get it from or wherever you got it. Or you're going to pull your resource, your information from or your, your, your PNGs from. Grab your scissors tool and you're going to, once you see that, that little selection tool pop up, you, you click and there's a dot that leaves there. And you come down here in the middle and you make that another dot. So there it goes. Once you do that, you go ahead and grab your selection tool and you pull it apart. And what this does, it, now you are able to, um, instead of having to go back and do this, do this difficult task of splitting the images or cropping them or whatever you're doing is in the other program, you can do it all here in InDesign. So go ahead and back, um, go ahead and add my margins again, back to 0.25 so you can see what I'm doing. And I still have 30 seconds left, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to do this. Boom, boom. Back that's back right there I'm gonna bring it down boom <clears throat> and for this side we just really want to bring this in uh, so that way it ain't and also I'm gonna bring it in just a tad bit just where it's just enough to where it's it's hitting the hitting the there we go and boom there you go so um, once again, guys, this is how you crop a photo inside of InDesign. So that way you don't have to pull out your hair trying to get things straight away or squared away with inside of KDP Publishing because I know they're going to keep kicking stuff back. So there you go, guys. Take care. Till next time.